Hi, my name is James Grundy, I'm Technical Manager at Maxwell Amenity. Just very quickly want to talk to you today about biological pest control, specifically in relation to leather jackets and chafer grubs, which are problems within turf. Now, there were two chemical treatments that were available on the market, that was Siren Chlorpyrifos and Merit Turf, with the active ingredient there was Amidiocloprid. Both of those have been withdrawn. Uh, Siren uh, uh, Pyrifos went last year, and uh, Amidia Cloprid, uh, that is, there's one sort of one season left of use, um, but that any stocks that you have available have to be used up by October the 31st this year. So that leaves us in a situation where we need to look at alternative methods of control, and something which has been used very effectively for a number of years to great success is biological controls, specifically in terms of nematodes or entomopathogenic nematodes, which basically just means little tiny microscopic worms which uh, predate, and there's a cycle which we'll look at briefly in a moment, uh, and they predate on the, the grubs in the ground. Completely natural, completely harmless to the environment, they're native to this country anyway, so they naturally occur in the soil. All that we're looking to do is prime, fortify the soil with a large population so that we get control of the turf pest. So just here we have the, uh, the pitch care shop on the page. And if you see down the left hand side, we've got an insecticide pest control category, we can go to biological pest control. Once we go to biological pest control, we can select uh, a product. In this case, we've gone for the uh, leather jacket killer. All the relative information is on that product page for this product. If we just scroll down a little bit, then we can see there's some information which we will give you a lot of help and advice on what you need to do when you're applying these products. Secondly, there's some little icons, so we can go to this one which tells us how, how these entomopathogen, entomopathogenic nematodes work in the soil. And we can go through and we can see and learn and understand about the life cycle. Secondly, once we've looked at that, the key area and the key difference with these products is because you're, you're dealing with a natural product, a natural life cycle, is to, uh, to look at the life cycle of the organism. And what that basically tells us, and what we've produced here for you to help to understand this, is that there are two key periods, certainly for leather jackets, for chafer grubs there is just one key period at the uh, end of the year here, but for uh, leather jackets there's two key periods, one is in the spring, and one is round about now, August, September, October, as we're, as we're making this little video for you, we're coming into the key period. The key thing to understand is, and this is a mindset change that you need to have, and that mindset change is you need to be proactive. You can no longer afford to wait until January, February, March, see if you have a problem and then apply. You can apply here, but you need to apply at a higher rate. So it's going to be a lot more cost effective to be proactive and apply here when all the life cycles as everything coincides. Like I say, it's very similar information for you on the chafer grub control as well. So go to those web pages. If you have any more questions, don't be afraid to give one of our technical salespeople a call and we'll help you out as best as we can.